The landscape of the music industry is ever evolving. And in recent years, there's been a notable trend of established artists choosing to sell their music catalogs. This strategic move allows them to capitalize on their life's work while also providing a substantial lump sum of money up front. Let's delve into some of the artists who have made this significant decision and explore the reasons behind it. One, Bob Dylan. In late 2020, Bob Dylan made headlines by selling the rights to his entire song catalog to Universal Music Publishing Group for a reported sum over $300 million. This deal encompassed more than 600 songs spanning Dylan's prolific career, including timeless classics like Blowin' in the Wind and Like a Rolling Stone. Dylan's decision to sell his catalog was seen as a shrewd financial move, allowing him to secure his legacy and provide financial security for his heirs. Number two, Stevie Nicks. Another iconic musician who recently sold a stake in her catalog is Stevie Nicks, best known for her work as the lead vocalist of Fleetwood Mac and her successful solo career. For 2020, Nicks sold an 80% interest in her songwriting catalog to music publisher Primary Wave for a reported $100 million. This deal gave Primary Wave control over the publishing rights to Nicks' extensive catalog, which includes hits like Dreams and Landslide. Nick cited the desire to ensure her music would be cared for and promoted effectively as a key factor in her decision to sell. Number three, Neil Young. Legendary singer-songwriter Neil Young also joined the ranks of artists who have sold their music catalogs. In January 2021, Young sold a 50% stake in his song catalog to the Hypnosis Songs Fund, a UK-based investment company specializing in acquiring music rights. The deal was reported to be worth an estimated $150 million and covered Young's entire catalog of more than 1,180 songs, including classics like Heart of Gold and Rockin' in the Free World. Young stated that he chose to sell a portion of his catalog to secure financial independence and ensure that his music would continue to be heard and appreciated for generations to come. Number four, Bob Marley, the estate of reggae icon Bob Marley, made waves in the music industry when it sold a majority stake in Marley's song catalog to Primary Wave in February 2021. The deal, reportedly valued at around $150 million, gave Primary Wave control over 80% of Marley's publishing rights, including timeless tracks like One Love and No Woman No Cry. Marley's family expressed their belief that partnering with Primary Wave would help introduce Marley's music to new audiences and preserve his legacy for future generations. Five, David Bowie. Even posthumously, David Bowie's music continues to be a hot commodity in the music industry. In 2017, Bowie's estate sold the rights to his entire catalog of recordings to Warner Music Group in a deal reportedly worth around $250 million. This agreement gave Warner Music control over Bowie's extensive catalog, which includes groundbreaking albums like The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and The Spiders from Mars and Heroes. Bowie's estate stated that they chose to sell the catalog to Warner Music to ensure that Bowie's music would be promoted and celebrated for years to come. These are just a few examples of artists who have chosen to sell their music catalogs in recent years. While the decision to sell can be a complex one, involving financial considerations, estate planning, and concerns about legacy, many artists view it as an opportunity to secure their financial future and ensure that their music will continue to be appreciated by fans around the world. As the music industry continues to evolve, it's likely that we'll see more artists following suit and striking deals to sell their valuable catalogs phenomenon raises questions about the motivations behind such decisions and the implications for artists' legacies, financial stability, and creative autonomy. To understand why artists are parting ways with their music catalogs, it's essential to delve into several key factors driving this trend. Number one, financial gain. One of the primary reasons artists sell their music catalogs is for financial gain. Music royalties can provide a steady stream of income over time, but artists may prefer a lump sum payment upfront to fund other projects, ventures, or simply secure their financial future. This is particularly common among older artists or those facing financial challenges where selling their catalog can offer immediate relief or a substantial windfall. Two, changing industry dynamics. 
The digital revolution and the rise of streaming platforms have dramatically transformed the music industry's landscape. While streaming has increased accessibility to music, it has also altered the revenue streams for artists. Many artists find themselves earning significantly less from streaming than they did from traditional album sales or radio play. In this environment, selling catalogs can be seen as a way to capitalize on the catalog's value now, rather than waiting for potentially diminishing returns in the future. Three, investor interest. Another factor contributing to the trend is the growing interest from investors in acquiring music catalogs. Investors see music royalties as an attractive asset class offering long-term, stable returns, similar to bonds. The low correlation with traditional financial markets makes music royalties appealing for diversification purposes. As a result, investment firms, hedge funds, and even tech companies have been actively acquiring music catalogs, often at premium prices, further incentivizing artists to consider selling. Number four, estate planning. For artists concerned about their legacy and the financial well-being of their heirs, selling music catalogs can be part of a strategic estate planning process. By monetizing their catalog during their lifetime, artists can ensure their loved ones benefit from the proceeds, potentially avoiding disputes or financial difficulties in the future. This approach allows artists to take control of their financial legacy and make proactive decisions about their estates. Industry consolidation. The music industry has witnessed significant consolidation in recent years, with major labels, publishers, and tech companies acquiring smaller entities to expand their market share and influence. In this environment, artists may feel pressure to sell their catalogs to larger entities seeking to strengthen their position in the market. While this consolidation can offer artists greater resources and promotional opportunities, it may also limit their creative autonomy and bargaining power. Number six, lack of transparency. Despite the growing prevalence of catalog sales, there's often a lack of transparency surrounding the deal's terms and conditions. Artists may not fully understand the long-term implications of selling their catalogs, including potential restrictions on how their music is used or exploited. Additionally, artists may be subject to contractual obligations or legal constraints that compel them to sell their catalogs, even if they would prefer to retain ownership. Seven, creative freedom. Some artists view selling their catalogs as a way to free themselves from the commercial pressures of the industry and focus on their artistic pursuits without the burden of managing business affairs. By relinquishing control over their catalog, artists may feel liberated to explore new creative avenues, collaborate with diverse partners, or pursue passion projects without the constraints of commercial expectations. In conclusion, the decision by artists to sell their music catalog royalties is influenced by a complex interplay of financial, industry, and personal factors. While it can offer immediate financial benefits and strategic advantages, it also raises questions about the long-term implications for artists' legacies, creative autonomy, and the broader music industry ecosystem. As the trend continues to evolve, it's essential for artists to carefully weigh the pros and cons of selling their catalogs and seek expert advice to ensure they make informed decisions aligned with their goals and values.